after many, and we do mean many weeks of intense competition, we have finally arrived at this moment. In just a few minutes, one of these incredible contestants will claim the title of K-Check Champion. Our finalists have demonstrated skill, knowledge, and determination to get here. There were sudden death moments, funny episodes, a and lot. surprises. A lot yes, of funny damage. episodes. Definitely all worthy of applause. So without further ado, let's get ready to witness an epic battle of wits. Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan, don't forget. For the last time this season, we're putting that power to the test. Welcome everyone to the Grand Finals of K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Gia. Welcome to the Grand Finals of K-Check! And now we present our brilliant Grand Finalists. May mga nagtangkang humabol sa kanya during the semifinals. Pero in the end, our civil engineering student from UP Diliman was a runaway winner with 240 points. Congratulations to our first grand finalist, Ivan. This wild card was quiet in the first round of his semis, but came alive in round two and went on to win. He used his second chance really, really well. So please welcome, with 260 points, our second grand finalist, Jace. Our UP Open University student, who is a fan of Miss Universe, gained momentum and made it to the top four just like his favorites, bringing 235 points. Congratulations to our third grand finalist, Alan. Last but not least, it was a neck and neck race between Drake and Versil. But in the end, our returning semi-finalist has finally broken into the Grand Finals. Making it through with 235 points of his own, congratulations to our fourth Grand Finalist, Versil. And these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP, Manila. Next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And we have multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus, teaching film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University. We have Professor Grace Xavier Alfonso. Our K-Check champion will receive a trophy designed by Professor Emeritus Grace Xavier Alfonso and a laptop courtesy of TVUP. Narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para hindi sayang ang inyong effort. Alam na alam yan. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. So, with the rules in place, let's begin. Question number one. The English Channel is a body of water that separates England from what country? Brazil. France. France is correct. K check. Question number two. What is the title of the Rudyard Kipling book that featured a character named Mowgli? Ivan. The Jungle Book. Let me proceed. Who was raised in the jungle by wolves? You said the Jungle Book. That is correct. K check. Question number three. In what province can you find the surfing paradise Sargao? Alan. Surigao del Norte. Surigao del Norte is correct. K-check. Question number four. What term refers to an artificial body part, such as an arm or a foot versus... Prosthetics. That we proceed that replaces a missing part or the science of creating artificial body parts. You said prosthetics. That is correct. K-check. Question number five. What number is represented by the capital letter M in Roman numerals versus 1,000? 1,000 is correct. K-check. Question number six. The missile crisis of October 1962 of the United States and the former Soviet Union was centered on what Caribbean island nation? Jace. Cuba. Cuba is correct. K-check. Question number seven. What major tennis tournament is held annually at the Rod Laver Arena? Uh, Allen. The Wimbledon. 
Wimbledon is wrong. Jace? The US Open? US Open is wrong. Anyone can steal between Ivan and Bursin. The correct answer is Australian Open. Question number eight. What word may mean a type of loud music or a verb that means to cause to sway back and forth? Allen. Boogie. Boogie. Huh? Boogie is wrong. Chase. Swing. Swing is wrong. Ivan. Trap. Trap is wrong. Only Versil can answer. Versil. Jazz. Jazz is wrong. The correct answer is rock. <laughs> Nakuha nyo na lahat ng genre. Okay. Question number nine. What do you call the art of preparing, stuffing, and mounting the skins of animals? Allen. Taxidermy. Let me proceed. So that they look as if they are still alive. You answered taxidermy. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. In geometry. What is the area of a square in square meters whose side is half a meter long? Percent. 0.25 square meters. Is correct or one-fourth is correct? Okay, check. Question number 11. According to Forbes, the richest man in the world at the start of 2024 is worth more than $250 billion. Who is this billionaire CEO of... Tesla and SpaceX. Ivan. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. Kashmir is a region that has been in dispute. Allen. India. Let me proceed. Between Pakistan and what other country since 1947? You answered India. That is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. Pagkatapos ng siraan ng buzzer round, we have Versil in the lead with 40 points. Followed by Alan with 30, Ivan with 20, and Jace with 10. Very intense. Very intense, di ba? Well, ganun talaga. Dahil napakahusay ng batch na to. So maraming salamat sa inyo. And we're halfway through the competition because in the end, a new champion will be revealed. Dito lang yan sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Versil is leading with 40 points, followed by Allen with 30 points, Ivan with 20 points, and Jace with 10 points. And now it's time for round two contestants. Remember, always wait to be acknowledged before answering. Otherwise, your answer will not be given any credit. Each correct answer in this round is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two, question number one. Born in what is now Quezon Province in 1890, Alan? Manuel L. Quezon. The answer is incorrect. Which Filipino politician is best known as the president of the 1934 Constitutional Convention? Yes, Versil. Manuel Quezon. Oh. Same, what? I think that's the answer Alan gave as well. So the answer is also incorrect. Which Filipino politician is best known as the president of the 1934 Constitutional Convention and the father of the 1935 Philippine Constitution? Ivan or Jace? Claro M. Recto is the correct answer. Question number two. Which French author of the satirical novel Candide was imprisoned in the Bastille in 1717? To be candid about it, it was Voltaire. Question number three. Which football player was named Athlete of the Century in 1999 by the International Olympic Committee after scoring 1,200 goals for Brazil and his team? Uh, Alan. Pele. Pele is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. At a mean distance of 96.6 million miles, 
What planet is closest to the Earth on average using a point circle method? Alan. Venus. The answer is incorrect. Jace. Mars. The answer is also incorrect. Versil. Mercury. Mercury is the closest to the Earth on average using a point circle method. The correct answer is Mercury. K check. Question number five. What do you call the legendary bird of the Maranao people depicted as a fowl? J. Sarimanok. The Sarimanok is depicted as a fowl with colorful wings and feathered tail holding a fish on its beak or talons. The answer is correct. K. Check. Question number six. What alcoholic drink, which the Philippines was once the number one consumer of, derives its flavor from juniper berries? Alan. Juniper gin? Gin is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number seven. Known as the king of horror, who wrote the novels? Versil? Stephen King. Stephen King wrote the novels The Shining, Carrie, The Green Mile, and It. The answer is correct. K. Check. Question number eight. Standing 860 meters tall, what is the name of the large sandstone rock formation in Australia? Jace. Ayers Rocker Uluru. It is the large sandstone rock formation in Australia, also known as the words largest monolith. The answer is correct. K. Check. Question number nine. What is the name of the major nerve extending from the lower end of the spinal cord down the back of the thigh and dividing above the knee joint, Jace. The sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve, which is also the nerve with the largest diameter in the human body, is the correct answer, k check. Parang nagagalit itong si Jace with a vengeance. Now, in second place with 60 points, is Jace Versil still in the lead with 70. Question number 10. What is the title of the monster hit song that spent 12 weeks at number one in 2016, recorded by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey? Ivan. Closer. Closer is the correct answer, K. Check. Question number 11. Who founded the Mongol Empire in 1206, Versil? Genghis Khan. And he later made it into the largest undivided empire in world history. The answer is correct, K. Check. We now come to the last question in this round, question number 12. What best-selling novel by Lauren Weisberger was adapted into a 2006 movie Starring Anne Hathaway as a young woman who is hired as a personal assistant, Alan. The Devil Wears Prada. The Devil Wears Prada is the correct answer. K. Check. And that's it for this exciting second round. So after that round, let's do a points recap. Versil is leading with 90 points, followed by Alan with 70 points. Then Jace with 60 points, at si Ivan naman ay may 40 points. And it's still anybody's game at, the, at this point. Yan naman, our ultimate pagalingan round is next here on K-Check! Welcome back everyone. Points Rika Puna Tayo. Versil is leading with 90 points. Followed by Alan with 70 points. Then Jace with 60 points. And Ivan with 40 points. The race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. But before we get to it, hingan muna natin ng mensahe ang ating mga panel of experts para sa ating mga contestant. Simula natin with our sciences expert, Professor Marla. So just keep doing what you're doing and may the best contestant win. Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla. Isang mensahe naman ngayon mula sa ating social sciences history expert, si Professor Neil. Basta keep on seizing the moment, Carpe Diem, pero hang on and move forward kung ano mangyari sa Grand Finals. And of course, finally, 
Mula naman sa ating beloved Professor Gigi. Nam namin nyo itong learning experience. At nakikita ko naman na napakasaya ninyo. Enjoy lang. Kaya mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you. And now, for the last time this season, we move on to our ultimate pagalingan round. Good luck to all our contestants. Continue to enjoy this last round. Correct answers are worth 30 points each. Pero may 50 point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin! At ito na nga, ang pinaka-ultimate sa lahat ng ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Marla, let's start this na. Ready? Which of the following is a fundamental force that acts over very short distances inside the atomic nucleus? Brazil. Strong force. The choices are electromagnetic force, A, B, gravitational force, C, weak nuclear force, D, strong nuclear force, E, magnetic force. The answer is correct. K, check. Prof. Neil. Sa anong probinsya sa Visayas naganap ang pag-aalsang pinamunuan ni Tagohoy? Jace. Bohol. Tamang sagot ay letter B. Bohol. K-check. Prof. Gigi. Eto na. What is the art movement that happened in between the period of high renaissance in the 1520s up to the beginning of the Baroque period, around 1590s, which departed from the rigidity, realism, harmony, symmetrical balance, composition, and instead focused on the beauty of this array, a symmetrical balance, favoring exaggerated poses, elongated figures, and a sense of artifice like in the works of El Greco, Tintoretto, and Cellini. A, Fovism, B, Dadaism, C, Romanticism, D, Mannerism, E, Rococo. Alan, Romanticism. No. Ivan, Rococo. Mali. Mannerism. Mannerist artists broke away from the strict rules of proportion, balance, and perspective of the High Renaissance. D. Mannerism, K. Check. And they're tied. <laughs> After the first round, <laughs> nagtay na si Jace. At saka si Versil. Prof. Marla. What is the primary goal of exobiology? Brazil. Uh, to study life outside the uh, in exoplanets, outside solar system. I'll accept that answer. The answer was investigating life beyond Earth. K check. <laughs> Prof Neil. Susunod na tanong, sino ang tagapagtatag ng Confradia de San Jose? Jace. Hermano Pule. Mali. Napopular sa tawag na Hermano Pule na pinaslang ng mga Espanyol noong 1841. A. Pedro Bocanec B. Apolinario de la Cruz C. Constancio Gatmaitan D. Diego de los Reyes E. Ramon Zarco Ivan A. Pedro Bocanec Mali Apolinario de la Cruz. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Apolinario de la Cruz, K-check. Prof. Gigi. What is the film that screened during the Metro Marilla Film Festival last 2023 that has garnered an all-time highest gross? Allen. Rewind. Rewind earned 854 million worldwide in 24 days. E, rewind, K, check. Third round in our ultimate pagalingan check, Prof. Marla. What is the function of the tympanic membrane in a frog? 
Brazil. To hear sounds. Or to act as an eardrum. The correct answer is hearing. Key check. <laughs> Prof Neil. Ano ang laman ng talumpating Iron Curtain ni Winston Churchill noong 1946? A. Banta ng pagpapalawak ng Soviet Union B. Banta ng paglakas ng Estados Unidos C. Pag-aalsa ng mga Arabo sa Palestina D. Pag-aalsa ng mga Muslim sa India E. Papel ng United Nations para sa kapayapaan ng mundo. Yes. A. Banta ng pagpapalawak ng Soviet Union. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Banta ng pagpapalawak ng Soviet Union. K-check. Prof. GG. In which country does the Cannes Film Festival take place? Yes. Cannes in France. First held in 1946 to recognize artistic achievement in cinema. So, letter C, France, K-check. Last round. So, Versil is still in the lead, followed by Jace, Allen, and Ivan. So, Prof. Marla, please. Okay. Which type of radiation has no electric charge and can... Versil. Gamma. Correct answer is gamma radiation. K-check. Saang bansa matatagpuan ang pinakaunang republika sa Asia? Ivan. India. Bale. Allen. Philippines. Ang tamang sagot ay Pilipinas. K-check. And the last question for our ultimate pagalingan round. Who was the recipient of the 2023 Gawad Lifetime Achievement Award? Uh, A. Roxley B. Fiel Sabat C. Love Diaz D. Gloria Sevilla E. Jaime Fabregas Allen. Jaime Fabregas Si Jaime Fabregas ay ginawara na natatanging gawadurian ng manunuri ng pelikulang Pilipino para sa kanyang paglapat ng musika sa napakaraming natatanging pelikula. So, E. Jaime Fabricas K-Check. And that is it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Versil, ang ating comeback in Versil, ang second ever K-Check champion with a final score of 210 points. Our champ receives a trophy and a laptop courtesy of TVUP. And we'd like to call on our K-Check Supervising Producer, Malu Choa Fagar, and TVUP Executive Director, Professor Grace Javier Alfonso, to hand over the prizes to our champion. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay, and of course, thank you to our contestants. Palapakan natin ang ating ibang mga contestants. La Ivan, si Jace, and si Allen for joining KCheck. And to the members, of course, of our panel of experts, palapakan natin Professor Marla, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. See you next season right here on KCheck. Yeah!